You guys see this? Can you see off on the shore there, behind the horizon, all the white cap mountains? That, as I've pointed out in other videos, but from different perspectives, that is the United States of America. In fact, Port Angeles is probably right over there, where it kind of dips down. I believe it's the Cascade Mountains. But it's quite relaxing if you sit here. That's why I'm not going to sit here very long. I'm going to get up and move. <laughs> and moving is something I kind of want to talk about today. Because what I'm doing right now is something that a lot of people never will do. There are a lot of people in this world that will never have the opportunity to actually walk, physically walk on a beach due to disabilities or, or other uh, things that hinder them from being able to participate like the rest of us. The month of May is set aside as Mobility Awareness Month where people uh, are encouraged to um, look around and realize just how many people struggle with mobility that we take for granted. And I certainly take it for granted. You know, I'm just walking right now. I'm about to get on a bike and ride. I mean, there's so many people that can't do either one of those things in life right now. And, uh, and I just do it every day. That is a great set of stairs right there. <laughs> the, the first one's a bit of a doozy. Let me introduce you guys to Benjamin Brawley. He is from Richmond, Indiana, and Benjamin is 12 years old. And from all accounts, Benjamin is a really cool guy. He is one of those people that being around him, you uh, feel happier and better because he's got a, a great presence about him. Now Benjamin is challenged. When Benjamin was uh, in the womb, he suffered a stroke and it caused him some difficulties that uh, are with him today. So he's unable to speak, he's legally blind, he has seizures, but he still manages to be a happy little guy and the people that are around him say that they have benefited from just knowing Benjamin. And one of my subscribers sent me a message and said, hey, there's a contest going on and thought you might be interested in seeing it, considering that we've just uh, kind of launched my random acts of coolness video. And if I fall off these rocks, it's going to make for some great video, but it's really going to hurt. Benjamin, say hello to Miss Yamimoto. Miss Yamimoto? You say hello to Benjamin. Oh, that's very nice of you to say. My subscriber that I'm referring to is named Cool Blue Dude, I believe. And he said he, uh, he comments quite often on my videos. Pretty upbeat guy, pretty happy guy. What is the contest? The contest doesn't involve money, doesn't involve sending things in, anything like that. Here's the basic scoop of it. People are able to send in individuals' names that they feel uh, are in need of um, greater mobility in their life. And people vote on these individuals and at the end of May, I believe it's May, I'll put the date up so I don't get it wrong. I'll put the date up right there. Whoever has the most votes, uh, I believe they're giving away three mobility vans and these are custom vans that are meant for individuals who have disabilities and have problems getting in and out of vehicles. And Benjamin's 12 year old boy now and he's getting to the size that it's hard for his parents to actually physically lift him up and get him in their vehicle. So having a, a, a van that is specifically made for his wheelchair would be a huge, huge benefit to them and a, a, a load uh, that they don't have to carry anymore. And you can imagine as a parent uh, of a child who, who needs uh, constant care and uh, and you have to do things for them, just the, just the, um, just the ability to load them into a vehicle without having to physically pick them up, uh, potentially hurting yourself as well, would be huge. 
So this contest, I'm going to show you the link and it's very simple. I've done it myself and I continue to do it and here's what you do. You have the opportunity to go there every day and place one vote a day. It involves putting your, your first, your last name, your email address, and answering a skill testing question of math. And this is what the skill testing questions are like. Three plus three. I'm gonna give you the answer right now. It's six. <laughs> and that is just there so that they know that you're a real person. So they're really simple. And then you check that you understand the rules. There's two little boxes. Check that you understand the rules. And there's another check box if you want to uncheck it or check it. It just says send me more information about um, the organization. I just uncheck it because I get a whole lot of stuff in my box. You can check it if you'd like. And then you press vote. And that's it. It takes me all of 15 seconds to do. The contest is open to the residents of the United States of America, all 50 states. It is also open to the District of Columbia and is open also to the country of Canada, my home and native land, except for the province of Quebec. And if you're from Quebec, you know why you're not allowed to come into this contest by your provincial government. You can participate in the actual contest by voting every day until May 10th. It's quick, it's easy to do, it requires very, very little effort, and considering the amount of time that I personally spend on the computer, uh, YouTube in particular, I probably got like two hours a day on YouTube. I know that's pathetic, but hey, I gotta answer your comments. I gotta keep up with current. I gotta follow my subscribers. I gotta follow those people that I subscribe to. I got lots of material to watch. And uh, so 15 seconds out of my day to, to, to go towards a, uh, a good cause like this is nothing for me. If you're like-minded, if you think that you can do that as well, will you follow the link that I'm gonna put in the description and, and do your best to vote every day until May 10th? Because you think about how many subscribe. I have uh, over 3,000 subscribers. Others uh, who are subscribed to me have much more. But if we were to all actively vote for Benjamin to get a mobility vehicle, I think we could do a bang up job of securing that vehicle for him. I think that this community that we have called Motor Vlogging is made up of uh, some pretty cool guys and equally cool subscribers that I think are very like-minded. I have a request for for you guys. If you have a YouTube channel, if you have a Facebook page, if you'd feel comfortable doing it, I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you could uh, repost this video on your page and let people see it and encourage them to uh, take part. Like I say, it doesn't cost anything. You're not obligated to do anything. People aren't gonna show up at your door. It's just a matter of voting. 15 seconds of your day till May 10th. And let's get Benjamin into a van that works for him and his parents and, and take some of the, the burden off his parents' shoulders and give Benjamin more mobility in life. When we secure a mobility vehicle for Benjamin, because we will. I'm, I'm, I'm confident of that. With I just know you guys. I read your comments. I read your comments on my channel, on, on other channels. I'm not going to name people because I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's fair to put pressure on people to take part. And this, I don't want you to feel like there's pressure. If you go to the link, just check out his, his entry and, and read about him. And ask yourself, hey, can I, can I commit to spending 15 seconds a day to, to press a button and, and vote for this guy to, to have some assistance? If you can do that, I'd sure appreciate it. Let's make it so Benjamin gets the vehicle he needs. And when people ask, how did your votes get so high? They'll say, there's these group of guys, they're called motovloggers. They come from every walk of life. They ride motorcycles and they do good things. Let's make that a random act of coolness. And when it happens, each one of us can say, I took part in that. 
Thanks everyone. I hope you'll consider taking part. Thank you and come again. Hey, I got one more idea before we leave. If you're like me, you know, I've got a wife and she uh, reminds me of a lot of things on a daily basis, like, you know, things that I might forget. Like, did you brush your teeth? <laughs> she doesn't remind, she doesn't remind me of that. But, uh, with other things, like appointments and things like that. But, uh, a lot of times I have to write myself like little notes. So consider this, get yourself a little sticky note or a piece of paper and write on it, did I vote today and stick it to your computer. And if you've got a handheld, I don't know, figure something out, tie a piece of string around your finger or something. Let's try to get those votes to where they need to be to win. Sure appreciate you guys, I really do. Have a good one, do your best.